Hi guys, um, welcome to our van, Spud, the 2015 Citroen Relay Luton box camper van. Um, it was converted by myself, my partner, and my partner's uh, dad, who's been a builder for 35 years, and I've built three camper vans, so um, yeah, a few things were learned from the other one, so if you want to come have a little look around it. Recently got new tyres on the front as well. So externally we've got a water fill up point, um, we've also got a padlock that's hidden under the van so if you want to leave your keys, leave your keys there and go for a surf or a swim then you can. Um, under the van we sprayed with Waxel um, which obviously protects it from rust um, but it is a galvanised um, van anyway. It's got a two person, two bike uh, bike rack that can be extended to four as well. Uh, reversing camera, you can see the doors which I'll show you later. So coming round, got the 240 hookup. Big security door with a double, double lock. And then the uh, LPG fill up point. Which leads to a 55 litre LPG tank that's under slung. So coming to the van, there's a, a double lock, deadlock there as well. If you come, this is a, a van. So you're met by this lovely Belfast sink. Um, so if we're coming into the van, initially you've got necessities, bottle opener. Got lots of shoe storage under there, which can fit probably about nine or ten pairs of shoes. And then on the right side, there are three switches which control the dimmer switches at the top. So each one is on a separate circuit, so you can turn them on independently and also hold them to dim them or off, etc. So if we come up, there's a little step here. So working from the left side, um, you can see the steps which lead up to the bed. So these steps are all, under here is the storage for the shoes. You've got big storage in there for toiletries or whatever you want it to be. Again, the second one up here. And then leading up to the second step, you've got a very big drawer, which is kind of a drawer in a drawer. So we used to put our pants and socks here. And then that slides back and you can put your jumpers or whatever you want. Soft clothes as well, with quite strong magnets as well. I think they're rated about 40 kilos, so they are, don't ever move when you drive. Um, below that is a 80 litre fridge freezer, which is plenty really. Um, yeah, very low efficiency as well. Sorry, high efficiency, so low on energy. Um, and yeah. And then moving to the third step, we've got a full length mirror wardrobe. Um, so if you bring it around, you can see there's kind of full length for dresses as well as a second one for trousers, etc. And hiding space. Um, so then moving up the top, um, this is where the main bed is. Um, it's big enough for a full-sized double European, um, so I think it's about 6.4 foot long, only six foot, and you can spread out very easily, um, and enough room to tuck in the mattresses as well. Um, got two reading lights at the top, for a double glazed little window at the front, which can be put on vent, as well as the curtains that black it out. And under there, we've got a hecky midi, skylight um, which opens fully as well as has a blackout and a fly net um, which is perfect for sticking your head through to check the weather or the surf or um, stargazing. Um, here we've got a blackout curtain which is good if somebody's trying to do some work over there and the other person's sleeping. Um, alternatively we can use this 
and we put it up on hooks here. Swip around the other side so it's white and you can put a projector down there and watch a film. Um, next to the bed we've got a bedside locker which can be accessed from here from the top or accessed from here. So the Max Air fan remotes in here. There's also a 12 volt cigarette lighter and two fast charging uh, 12 volt USB ports. There's also a hole in the top so the wires can stick out through so it doesn't look so messy. So coming down, we've got access to the cab, which I've locked back to that security. Um, we'll show you that later. So in here is our our compost toilet from Simply. So that's got a permanent, there's a touch light up there as well. So that's got a permanent 12 volt fan which blows the smells out of the, the solids, um, which we've lived in it for a year and it doesn't smell at all. Um, the urine has got two options. You can either put it, in, put it into a bottle um, or it goes straight out to the van, which you can put a bottle under the van so it's, the urine isn't kind of in, in the van itself. So. Next we've got the shower, which as you can see is part of the countertop. So it's got this bar hinge, which you can lock in there. And we've got a hook here for drying. So if you want to dry your wetsuits, this is fully waterproof kind of enclosed um, with PVC flooring and uh, walls, sorry, and um, shower tray. So for actually using the shower, you can remove this. And using this curtain, you lock it into place. Get in. Shut the door. And then you've got your shower, which you can either hook up here, or you can just use it in your hand. Get into the specifics for the water in a second. So those pipes go into a 25 litre uh, grey tank, which has got an on off valve. So if you're somewhere that you can't just let it drain out to the floor, um, you can lock that off and then drain it when you're in a suitable place. But um, if you use non-bio and kind of safe shampoo, then that's okay. Um, you can see here, it's quite, quite a lot of pressure. Um, and that's led from a 10 litre Propex um, hot water heater. So moving on to the kitchen, we've got a very pretty bell glass sink here. Um, to the left of it, you've got quite long drawers, which is good for cutlery and mugs, etc. All soft clothes, as well as this one, um, which is good for plates and bowls. And we put kind of stoppers here so that they, they fit properly. All soft clothes. And then we've got a hideaway bin because you don't want the smell coming up and it's nice to have it all away and not just a bag hanging up. So all soft clothes as well. So underneath the sink, you've got two double doors. You've got a fire extinguisher, got a waste pipe from that tamp. And also at every point, we've got the John Guest turn off valve. So if you want to turn the shower for whatever reason, just that security, um, you can just turn that off and isolate the shower. So under that, we've got a very big drawer for lots and lots of pots, pans, steamers, things like that. Uh, they're all on the heavy duty rail, so they close pretty well, even when they're full. Um, like I said, this Belfast sink, we've got this kind of fully rotational shower head, um, sit tap head, sorry, which comes off like that as well. We've got hot and cold, and you can also change the rate. The good thing about this as well, having the window directly above, is you can just open that, have an external shower from the hot tap as well. So, yeah, good. Uh, next to that is a soap dispenser which you just refill from the top. 
all these windows are double glazed housing windows, um, which also have a kind of a vent stopper. So you can have them on vent. You've got the heating on and you want to have that condensation out. Um, and they're all locked and yeah, very warm. Uh, got spice rack, um, as well as kind of a larger rack for putting rice packets and things like that. Um, just a bit more storage. We didn't want a lot of overhead cabinets because we wanted it to feel quite large when we're in here. Um, this also has touch lights for when you're cooking. So if someone's asleep and you just need to put the kettle on, you can just do that. Uh, and then in terms of more storage for the kitchen, I've got this pull out pantry, which again is on very, very strong magnets to stop it from coming out at all. But this stores loads and loads of food. Um, and then further to the right, we've got a Thetford duplex uh, oven. Um, it goes up to about 220 degrees and also has a grill as well. So it's good for grilling your toast. Uh, under that, we've got a little bit more storage and also a gas dropout, safety dropout. Um, this is a two burner hob, one with a wok ring as well. Um, the gas works, don't have a lighter. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then this guard is just to stop any kind of food going away from there. Um, while you're cooking, there's a max air fan, um, temperature controlled as well with the remote that's there which obviously can blow in and out um, as well as you set auto to certain temperature and it will yeah, sort itself out with that so. all right um, moving on to the living arrangements um, this is all handmade um, upholstery which is made of very heavy duty um, sofa material um, very thick as well very comfy this can when you can move the table out and we have uh, two by two strapping which attaches there via velcro and then the back of these then slot in and become another double bed which we've had three people stay in um, Kind of two length ways, one long ways, um, and yeah, no bad backs that have been reported. So, um, this table is swivels as well, so if you need to kind of get in, you can walk around um, and just kind of shuffle around. And we've had five, six people stay here very comfortably, kind of having dinner parties and things like that. So, we've also got a um, USB charger under here, which is also fast charging. So you can see under there, if you need to charge your phone, you just stick it in there. And then to the left, we've got two 240 volt uh, chargers. That's connected to a Victron 1200 watt inverter, pure sine wave. We'll go into all the electrics later. Um, just down here is the outlet for our um, diesel heater which is almost also thermostatic with a temperature thermostat here. Um, and all down here is our kind of electrical panel. So that's the inlet for the heater. So it's a lot more efficient than sucking from outside because obviously then you're recycling the warm air. Um, and then that's the switch for the inverter. This is a, temp um, a gauge for the LPG, so you know how much there is. This is the water which is a 110 litre water tank underslung the van and yeah, sensor to see how much there is in there. This is a kill switch for the water pump, just in case you think there's a leak, you can just turn it off. Diesel heater control, which is a seven day timer, um, which during the winter was very, very comfortable. And then this is the Victron uh, battery monitor. So just here as well, um, there's two sections to this. There's up to here, there's all this storage into the back, which we can show you in a minute. Um, it's good for kind of putting your laundry under there as well. And then from here up is all storage that you can access kind of in there, which you simply just move these away and you can get to the storage there. So yeah, um, up there is another, another shelf 
um, which is good for books and things, um, and then a ring camera, which you can set as a motion sensor. So we used to set it just on the door, so if someone comes in, you get an alert on the phone and it records. Um, so I'll show you outside as well. There's extra security here to lock the back doors. And then in there. Also, there's another two of these windows. And another one here. It's coming around the back. This van used to be a removals for carpet wear, we think. So there wasn't a lot of damage to it inside or out, um, as there wasn't a lot of hard objects being put into it. Um, the whole van has 50 mil Kingspan insulation, um, and as well as the doors have 25 mil plus another 50 mil. We put on it. So in terms of the storage that was under the sofas, you can access it from all here. So that's the bottle for the urine if you need to use it. We've also got, if you're plugged in via 240 volts, you can pull off this straight off the um, off the shoreline, um, so that doesn't go through the batteries. Just if you're plugged into the sides, you could charge something without it going through your batteries. More storage in here. And again, more storage in there. So that's 240 for the inverter, which is all earthed, and also a water filter with all the water piping. Um, I've got an external shower head, which if you want to kind of very quite good power as well so if you want to rinse off um, your wetsuits or have an outdoor shower and you don't mind it being cold that's just from the cold tap you can see under here that's the propex tank um, which is 10 liters takes about 15 minutes to warm up and that's the gas manifold so that's for the oven and for the hob separate so if you need to lock them off we've also got an extra one which leads onto a pipe that hasn't got anything attached um, so that was, you could kind of have an outdoor barbecue if you wanted to. There's also a safe in the top right corner. Um, so yeah. In terms of, um, if you surf like we do, there is surfing, surfboard strapping, which we can fit. I think our board was seven foot two. So corner to corner it fits perfectly straps under there with this protective kind of foam in terms of the electrics the, well before that the the diesel heater is there it's an mv aero diesel heater um which we found a brilliant i've had them in the last two vans as well and in terms of the electrics we've got 200 amp hour of victron lithium iron batteries um, kind of very much more efficient and than acid or gel. Um, I think you get about 3,000 cycles out of them. Um, you can drop them down to 15 to 20% of their capacity. So even in winter, when we had about five days and not a lot of sun and using them constantly, the lowest we got to was about 60%. Um, in terms of charging, um, we've got a DC to DC charger, 30 amp, which is connected to the van's alternator. Um, it takes about two hours to fully charge if you were at about 20%, uh, just out of calculation. Also got a temperature monitor, which is attached to the batteries. Um, you can control that through the Victron app. So it kind of works as if these batteries are charged below five degrees, um, it can damage the cells. So if that notices that it's below that, it will stop all capacity of charging it. Um, alternatively, the diesel heater does have some of the heat coming off um, off the outlet, which there's a nick in the corner of it, so it does heat up around here while it's charging. Sorry, while the heat is going. Um, this is the distribution box for the 240 external, which then leads to our 240 charger. 
and then this is a isolator switch for our solar panels. There are 720 watt solar panels, um, pure crystalline, um, and a charger, a 50 amp um, charger for those. Uh, each part has is correctly fused as well as circuit breakers if you needed to kind of amend anything else you can just turn that off and then that's that bit isolated. There's also a main kill switch up there to stop any charging to the batteries and then the fuse box in the corner which you can access from under the sofa when you're in the van. Um, in the corner that's where our Victron uh, 1200 watt inverter is um, and yeah it's all in the van. Um, in the back if you needed to do anything. Cool. Thanks for coming to look at the van and yeah, watching the tour.